<laughs> you killed Elsa. You opened up a water bowl and you flooded and Elsa died. I'm telling you, I hate... No, oh, you... Oh, oh, oh. They're such a pain in the ass, aren't they? Yes, they are. All right, so we're we're live. I, I tried to get the recording started as she was murdering Elsa, but I didn't quite hit the buttons fast enough. I saw the water heading right over to the snowman. I was like, oh, I got to record, got to record. Oh, it didn't happen in time. You saw the after. You're the kind of guy who'll take the picture of the kids <laughs> as they fuck up, right? Yeah, absolutely. As, as the kid is falling out the window, sure. Don't reach for him. YouTube it. Yeah. You have enough to spare. Yeah, I do. So welcome back. We uh we we've done a lot, yet so little. Yeah, he, uh, this weekend, decided to grind up a bunch of uh, coal, and during those times, he's occasionally pushed up, you know, stuff. So I've been grinding charcoal, like Matt. I really need to expand this now that I've got a lot more ash, because this really, I, this takes two stacks of uh, logs and gives us about five stacks of, oops, of charcoal, which is a great conversion rate, but we are going through some mad charcoal generating mana right now for Batania. So, so this will smoke for like 10 minutes before we can open it up. But we did that. We did some colossal chests. What do you think? <laughs> they really they really are colossal. They, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like the side of a house. If you, if you wanted to do like a building with a giant chest, you could do it like a house like that. So... Oh! And we made mega torches. I made some mega torches. I used diamonds to make mega torches and uh, gold. I used all of our gold. So yeah, so the, the chests are kind of cool because they have mass amounts of storage in them, um, but they're kind of comical. They're very comic booky. And I had to, now, the wooden one, I didn't have to make it this big. I made it this big kind of just really as a lark. And there's actually, I have actually have tons more wood pieces, so it could even be bigger than this, because I'm, we have a crap ton of wood, so. We I, made the hopping botan uh, bonsai yeah. trees, which are amazing for this kind of mod pack. But the copper and the iron, the just to do the quest, gives you enough to make, you know, each one of these bad boys. So this was the minimum required to complete the quest. And we still have more quests to do, but it doesn't count towards progression in the mod pack, so I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I will eventually complete them, because we are completionists here. <laughs> I will go back and redo them. But So we got that going for us. What's going on over in the farm? Uh, we have uh, sand chickens, flint chickens, gunpowder chickens, red chickens. So the the stone chickens, the sand and the flint, they just spawn naturally on the grass, right? Yep, they spawn naturally. There's a, there's a log chicken too that spawns. I don't know if it will show up, but right now we we are uh, a, a chicken that poops redstone and gunpowder. So does it have to do per, by biome? Like we're in a plains biome right now. Does that control what chicken spawn? Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about chickens. I've only just bred them up once, and I remember having to wander around for, for them. Okay. It could also be that they're controlling that through the configuration, but who knows? But we got gunpowder and one redstone guy, and we've been continually expanding our flock to the point that our little pasture here is a little, like, I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the local county zoning uh, board is going to be pretty upset. Our density is pretty high here. <laughs> It is very hard to get in and out of this pen without having something escape at the moment because they're just so thick in there. So yeah, so we got also got some nether wart going, which is kind of you know pretty basic, but we needed that because we are doing Batania stuff. Oh oh, and we've also modernized our our condenser and combustion machines here so they we, we opened up some more automation which means that we have droppers on top now 
and we have collection devices on the side that collect the output, which is cool. Makes it a little easier. And I put a little hourglass on this so I don't constantly have to press a button. We just put in the ingredients you want and kablooey, and it, it, it fires it and automatically goes in. So you can see it working. It's just, oh, except for the gunpowder. Oh, no, it hasn't fallen out yet. There it goes. No, I overloaded it, so it would. Gotcha. You know, the, the remainder would remain in there as it continued going. Your collector's almost full of blaze. That's good. That's a good thing. So these are the bonsai tree hopping hopper guys, and they they are currently we put got a couple. They're a little overloaded at the moment because we're we're full up. Um, but they produce like every tree growth will produce one or two resources. And that resource is either going to be wood, stick, sapling, or leaves. Um, I think at some point we probably need to figure out what to do with the 10,000 sticks we have. Well, I know you can feed them to the endo flames. Oh, can we? not much, but it's better than coal for sometimes. What's the burn time on them, do you know? Let's see. Really crappy. I just throw a stack down and they just send it over. Because that would be a good thing to use short term to get rid of them all is to burn them. So, and what was really awesome about this was it took the uh, slime tr uh, saplings. So, we have more purple and green slime balls than we know what to do with at the moment. So, at some point I need to stop these and pull the chests and, and like, do different woods. Because, right, we've got uh, birch, uh, acacia, oak, and jungle. The oak, I'll probably leave going because we're producing apples which of course is food um, which we always need I actually probably need some right now though I have oh I haven't eaten an apple yet does that reset after a Minecraft day or something because I know I've eaten an apple no hmm. things that make you go hmm so these things are very cool they're they're a little OP because in one block, you just basically have a tree farm. That if you run it on a server and you can let the sucker go, will produce mass amounts of wood for you. It's pretty awesome. Which means I probably also need to redo these storage uh, chests back here, because this was back during our manual farm day. And then we have Batania, which is the current bane of our existence. Um, it's what we're working on to progress through the quest. If we look at our quest chain tree here... We are trying to unlo unlock some form of automation, like maybe a basic factory or actually additions or something. So we are hoping that by getting to this tab here, which is the only other main quest item that we haven't unlocked. Like we, we've unlocked all the mains here. The main here is the mains here are unlocked. We've done one main here with some ruins in the mystical in the Batania. Um, oh, you know what? Diamond spikes. I haven't done diamond spikes yet. Because we need diamonds. That might be it. I was just delaying that because we didn't have the diamonds. I need a diamond block, so I'll need 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need 15 diamonds at least to do that. And we unlock this by doing the Uncolossal chest, which required me to take it down to the Iron Colossal and then up here. So maybe I should do that first. What do you think? I think I will work on getting us through Batania because you're probably tired of it. Oh, yeah, that's all right. And I'm playing with the stick maker, or the stick feeder for the Indo Lilies for the power. Gotcha. I, I mean, I actually love love the mod. I just it's it's one of those mods that have been around forever, and I think everybody knows it, you know, pretty pretty well. I mean, there's there's some really cool stuff in it. The red string is awesome. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't need the the little you know hopper plants? Those things oh, are yeah. awesome. We have one in our middle of our farm to help yeah. pick up all the poop that the uh, chickens are giving us. I mean, anytime you can use something, it's it's the it's the cheapest vacuum you know vacuum automation ever. You know. I do kind of like the one in embers, but 
we haven't unlocked that one yet. So here, here's what I was thinking about the the end of flames, and I know that you're probably adjusting the timing on them. Yep. So um, once we get sparks, which is very soon on our little list of things that we're going to get, and we can create a spark network and put down tons of mana pools. <laughs> Because, you know, I always think, like, in excess and way more than we need. Yeah, but it's okay. Um, we, we, we need to put some endo flames on some pastures and put little floating, little floaties above it. Okay. So that we, you know, because that way we can generate in 3D and get twice, you know, three times as much mana generation. We can't do it now because we don't have the storage or the throughput to be able to handle that. No, but I'm throwing sticks in there while I'm working on making the the, the lenses. Oh, do you want my here? Let me uh, let me go put this stuff. Where do you want me oh, to put yeah. it? In the chest you're standing on. Uh, what just, do you have for me? Just, just oh, see. Things? Unless you want to do the lenses, and I can go work on something else. No, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna go do the diamond spikes and see if that unlocks anything for us. Okay. I think. I think. I think I have 20 diamonds downstairs. That might be enough to get me, just to get me through the diamond spike, which might unlock something. Because I didn't, I, I which didn't is, see that. Is it supposed to be an unlock? It is an unlock. It's a main quest. Got a little main quest icon on it. So hopefully this, hopefully this will do it for us here. Diamond spike. Because so we only need. One. So I need three diamond swords, one diamond block, and three diamonds. We might be short like one or two. That just means I've got to bust up stuff. I just made a whole bunch of stone, so you you will have plenty of stone should you need to bust that up. Well, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I did the, 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 what was it called in the Tinker's, I did a magma log in the, in the heater as part of the Tinker's quest chain, which I built a binding out of that, and now my pickaxe has auto smelt. So I can just go down there, if you notice on the cobble generator on the back side, I made an area to do it manually. So I just go down there and I automatically make stone as I crush, as I break up the cobblestone. Awesome. I do it the old-fashioned way. I'm just saying, if you want to borrow my pick, next time you do that, it'd be very cool. All right. We are going to have just enough of a couple to spare. Are you ready? What do you think this is going to unlock for us? I don't know. There's so many good options. Ta-da! Quest complete. Oh my gosh! Two of them. Basic factories and actual... Oh my gosh. Are you having a happy moment? I am. Because finally, 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 we can start automating some things. Except, wow, this is not... Actually, additions is cool. Because that definitely opens up some real options for us. But? But the factory stuff is interesting. Yeah, I've nev never used it. Yeah, never used factory tech before. So that'll this this will be this will be fun. I won't, uh, as long as it doesn't, you know, if it has maybe something that that oh, it's got transport rollers, but how do you? I don't see how you power it yet. Maybe this will <laughs> maybe this is something you have to jump up and down on or spin a cr crank because you because you will be all about that. Yeah, I, I have. <clears throat> I will admit it, I spent way too much time jumping on that crystal log for the methyl crystal. 
Yes, meant the mental. I was trying to fill a chest because he said I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, and they have a bag opener, which really does us no good right now because we don't really have the storage to or item routing to do anything with it. And we don't want to leave food for our animals because we don't want our animals multiplying right now. We have way too many. There will be a culling as soon as we can figure out how to safely do it. The snad seems cool though. I've never used snad before. Sugar cane grows two times faster and nether wart grows four times faster. It's kind of cool. But they're not really required for what we're doing right now. Oh my gosh, you did something. What'd I do? It said, oh, that's, sorry, those are the completions because I claimed the, I, I did the little claim on the, 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 the chest coin, the chest, bad, the quest, I can't talk, it's a Monday, the quest chain in the, in the first page of the quest book. So I guess we can do factory stuff. Which is, is very cool. So, uh, do you need anything to finish off your lenses? Like, should I go grind something for you real quick? Um, let me take a look. I will put, you might need another mana diamond. So those are the last two diamonds that we have. Uh, I just finished four, so I was working up from the bottom because you were working down from the top. Okay. So I need to do the messenger one, and, which is just paper. And what's the other one I gotta do? Wait. Still needs to be done, right? That was what I was working on. Here, why don't you open up the thing and I'll read you what the ones I got. Okay, you got, you have, good. I have resistance, efficiency, um, potency, yep. velocity, phantom, Magnetizing, Influence, Force, and Kindle. Okay, so we just need Flash, Messenger, and Wait. Okay. I can do the Messenger, that's just paper. What's the other one, Flash? Flash, and Wait is with, um, 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 the, per the, the Aquamarine stuff, the, uh, Prismarine. Okay. Which they're th I I that's because it's the same thing that the previous one used. So it's it, I have an extra mana pool set up over there that has a uh, uh, the little catalyzer underneath of it. Oh, you have one too. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I noticed that we had a double one. Oh, I didn't see that you had done that already. It's okay. I did it while you were AFK. Okay, so. I will put these all back in the chest. So and you should you should you should have everything you, everything you need. Um, what what do we need for flash? Flash, ooh, uses fire charges, and glow. we need fire charges. Which, which oh, is that's pretty easy. That, those are okay. Yeah. So we should have you should we should have everything we need. No grindy grind necessary to finish that guy. It's the next one, right? That the in the in the quest chain because the next one's gonna be doing the the sparks and then terra steel, which means you're gonna need a conglomeration plate. I think we probably have enough lapis to do that. Because that requires, like, are those lapis blocks? Yeah, they require lapis. Um, and lots and lots of mana. And then we have to create an elven gateway. And you have to do your... Whatever the elven steel is, the pink stuff. And then do elven mana pools, and then do your conjuration. Wow, lots of stuff. 
So we will be working on Batania today. And I will uh, try to do some factory check, check and see what we can automate. After All I figure right. out after I figure out what the stuff does, since I've never used it before. As soon as I, come on. So we have almost two hundred lapis, which is definitely enough to probably build your the thing I need. Yeah. All right, I think I have the flash to do. I don't remember what it is, but is it like some some like cross pattern of of lapis blocks and like living stone? It's a something? checkered board with a uh, special plate on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done it. I wish these things partially partially completed. Yeah, I know, because you don't really know where you are in the list. Especially before all my coffee's been drank. Yeah, seriously. I'm only on, I'm only at one number two. So let's look at factory tech and see what kind of cool problems we can get into. Oh, cool. So the very first thing is called a river grate, which you put next to a water source, and you give it wooden meshes, and it generates iron, nickel, and copper nuggets. Yes! We need that. That's very cool. And apparently, it only works between Y level 60 and 70, so we may need to go down a little bit to do that, but, but that's easy enough. Yep. So, Let's 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 try to get that sucker going and, and at least hook it up to some hoppers and, and whatnot. So that is a river grate, which is Oh, finally found a use for all those sticks. Yay! The uh the reusable mesh here apparently requires lots just sticks. And that's not a no, sorry, not reusable, but its consumption is this mesh that you constantly have to pump it. So we're probably gonna have to make stacks of these suckers. Where, where, oh, where is the, oh, here it is. Oh, they only stacked to four deep. That's not all that fun. Okay. I just filled up my inventory. Hooray! Oh, it only needs oak wood slabs. That's kind of lame. That is extremely lame. Alright, so we have a wooden grate, and I know I have a bucket here, and some water. And... Let me put some more cobble over here. Do stone the old-fashioned way. Boom! Yeah, I need glowstone. All right, so I need a hopper and a chest. I swear I had a bunch of iron chests left over. I'm not sure what I did with them. Oh, 
Oh, there's, there's one. All right. So we're on Y level 84, so we need to go down a bit. Give me two hoppers. So hopefully this will can be hopperized. Alrighty, let's see if I can do this without falling to my death. Place your bets. There, I, I don't think I quite made it. I think I placed it too low. Yep. But it's Wasn't it better if it's lower than higher? I don't know. Um, it says it only works between 60 and 70. Are you at... Oh, like I'm, on, I'm, I'm on 61. I'm good. Yeah, okay. yeah, I made it. Oops. So it says it needs to be placed over. No, it doesn't say over, actually. I have never, ever done this before. This is all placed near water. What does near mean? Besides? On top of? Next to? We'll try it besides. So, hopefully, we can hopperize this sucker. So, we'll put down a chest. And then a hopper. And then the river grate. And then another hopper. So we can feed mesh into it. All the lenses! Yay! Where'd my other chest go? Anatomy sparks. So let's see if this is actually working. Yay! Alright, so that works. So now to try and get some water next to it. I am assuming the water should go behind it. I make too many assumptions though. It's probably, probably not a good thing. I just used all my slabs. Invalid location. What do that mean? Because it's near water. This is where I hop out and uh, look at... Uh, look it up on the wiki. Look it up.
No machining factory check requires power. Awesome. Aww. Slowly generates metal when placed in a river. Hmm. So maybe I need source blocks on more than one side. That sounds smart. That's the extent of its uh, description. There's also a chance it might have to be in a river biome, which would be extra stinky, because that would require us to hunt around for one. So, so is it just our height that's causing our water to start freezing up? Because I didn't think it was freezing up when we first started. I think it's the fact that that area where the water's freezing is um, extreme hills. This is plains here, though. Our wall, I had to put torches over our ta over our stuff right here, or it starts to freeze up. I don't know. It could be our height. So I didn't think 80 was high enough to cause stuff to start freezing, but uh, who knows. What was I doing again? Oh, Terra Steel. So much rain! Oh, that reminds me, I, uh, I, I was playing around with the, the ceramic tanks, trying to figure out how to autofill a cauldron. And, uh, I did not realize this, but it fills up with rainwater. Oh, awesome. All right. <laughs> I've got water on three sides of it now, and it's still not working. Well, no, one of them's catty corner, so it's not truly beside it, but this may require more than just a quick review of the mod description in the mod wiki. Because it ain't, it ain't be working. Though, it looks like we're generating a ton of squid. Mmm, calamari. This is going to push, push me over the edge, isn't it? Still invalid location. All right. Let us read more. So what are you working on? Uh, Terra Steel. Oh, so you're building our conglomeration plate or whatever it's called? The uh, Terra Agglomeration Plate, yes. Oh, agglomeration plate or something. Whatever. Right? Yes, the plate.
Hmm. Sound like a villager. Hmm. 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 Well, you could start with actually add-ons and you know play with that one. Yeah. I might as well just I mean, keep going, keep going down and building and figure this out later, because yep. this. Because I'm pretty sure the people love us when we go down, you know, rabbit holes and end up in the wrong yeah. places. Some people find it funny, some people don't. You know what, I'm just going to try one more source block, which is directly on top. Which means I have to take away... the existing stuff. I'm just going to be a pain in the ass. Well, as fun as this is, is there tends to be a lot of pains in the asses with this mod pack. Yep. What I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to, uh, I don't want to waste that iron chest. I'm afraid that I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose it in all this water I got going on up here. We're just gonna go bye bye over the edge. One. Did I get it? Nope. All right, we're moving on. That uh, that is so not happening. We will figure that out. I love new mods. And I'm not being sarcastic. Nope. I well, it's a chance to learn it. something new. You might find a better way to do something. Yep. So let me leave this stuff down here so that I can figure that out in the future, and we'll go up and work on whatever the next item is. Hopefully it's something simple, and we can get that sucker working. So, uh, let's see. What is my next item? Compact auto crafting. Ooh, I like that. An auto crafting unit, huh? That's cool because we can, we need to set this up to do compressed stone. That would make me happy. I got the first one. Now to make the whole setup. Alright, we have an autocrafter. Hooray! Did it recognize it? Yes. Now I gotta make cool. a Terra Still ingot. So I wonder how this sucker works. Cool. 
Auto crafting is cool. Yay! <coughs> I will figure out how to <coughs> find an application for that a little bit later on. Apparently, I got to make a grindstone now because we have to manually create blades of some sort. Ooh. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Okay. Little pieces. I need iron nuggets and lapis. Do you have lapis down there? Yep. And I have iron nuggets too. There's iron in a compacting. It's next to your bibliocraft. Uh, your bibliocraft stuff. Okay. What I don't have down here is a craft. We don't have a crafting table down here, which is silly, unusual. Yeah, yeah, extremely silly, because we usually plaster crafting tables everywhere. So I will correct that. Already done. Oh, okay. Wow, she beat me to it. Now I have an extra table. Throw <laughs> it somewhere else out there. Yeah, I saw one in the chest earlier today when I was trying to sort. See, what happens is brewing kind of runs around and throws everything in there, all the chests, and I just go around later and yep. pick everything up and organize it. To me, everything is like a... Uh... A applied energistics or a refined storage system. You just throw it in and you find it later. <laughs> Alright, we have a grindstone. Hooray. So I'm not sure. I'm assuming that this requires us to make part. We're required to make parts for the next quest. So uh, we'll just put this up here somewhere. All right. <clears throat> and I need to make a saw blade and a nickel cutting blade. All right. Ooh, that one's weird. Okay, so I put a basic gear. Gotcha. I can do that. And then I need a nickel. Which is a nickel ingot inside of the grindstone. Do we have any nickel yet? Try the powder collector, where we've been cooking up all those powders we get from the crushed stone. That's what I'm, where I'm looking. We don't have one. Darn. So what would it take? Oh! Jeez, that's easy. Do you happen to have any uh, glowstone handy? Or did you use all of the glowstone? I think I might have used it all. Okay. Ignore that. Um, yeah, I used it all. I need redstone to do, uh, to do glowstone, don't I? Yes. Okay. So I've got it backwards. And if I remember right, it's three, two, one, right? It's, oops, I took all of them. It is, uh, to make, what do we make it? Glowstone. It is. Only two items. Oh, I thought it was redstone and. It's, uh, I think redstone and blaze, and it's like four and two. 
I don't know, uh, four redstone to two blaze. Okay. To make lowstone? I don't know. I'm tired. Yeah, it is kind of early. Yeah, I got a message when I first got up this morning saying, you know, get your butt on so we can record. <laughs> and then he was missing for for half an hour as I was as I was waiting for him to show up. It's just a half an hour. Just a half an hour. Do I want to go the hard route and make the dropper to drop the items onto this onto the thing for me, or do I want to go the easy route and just not do it? Um, I don't know the hard route. Yeah, that would be better because then I can have the dropper with the hopper and stand back and not actually oh. pick it up when I make the terra steel. Crap! I just made way too much alchem uh, alchemical dust for nickel. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I do like Dirt Boy here. I'm, that's what I'm going to call him now. Dirt Boy? Yeah, we have a uh, living wood altar with Avatar with the dirt rod so and, and a block breaker in front of him, so he'll make all the dirt we want, and his name is Dirt Boy. Okay. I have decided. You've decreed. Yes. Alright, so I have this. Alright, so let's go make our parts so we can complete our quest. So do I need to... I don't need to power this thing at all. I just... Hmm. Let's try that. Gives it... Ah! That would make sense. So it uses these basic gears as like a power mechanism. Wonder how long that lasts. Hey, cool things. Yep, completing quests. I've been giving her all my quest rewards. Cause they're like three. Uh, they're three major items. You either got your question mark food, yeah. your yeah. weird a uh, weird block for the for the romper room, uh, or water buckets or ears. Make that four. Yep. Yeah, the crust rewards aren't really all that fun, all that useful. They're really just, oh, sorry. They are fun. They're not useful items. Okay, so we we get to make a chop saw. Not exactly sure what a chop saw is, but uh, you know I've heard the name before, but I don't. Not, I know what it is in real life. I, this thing though is really just something that makes. You no, know, we're gonna go through a lot of iron. I can see that. Um, this is something that allows you to cut logs and get six planks instead of four. You know, because we're at such a shortage for logs. What they're making us do it, so we do it. So I can definitely see, so this require. okay, so, yeah, this requires parts. I wonder if that's, I 
wonder if it's like a reusable resource that you have to keep pumping in. Don't go there, you go there. Yay! All right, so let's put a piece of wood in and see see what it does. Do we have a block? Chop chop choppy yet? choppy 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 choppy. No, we do not. Okay. Is the block placer like... requires stuff that we can't get. Okay, because if we get a bunch through Jiro, we can take all these leaves and just place it next to there and make mana out of that. But we need a block placer of some sort. Yep, we do, and we won't unlock that until we get into. Uh, we into a uh, mechanism because it requires that little circuitry component that you make through mechanism. All right, I'm making our first terrorist deal. <gasps> really? Yep. That's hot. All right, so we have a chop saw. What's next? Oh, I guess I actually have to make a blank quartz plate, huh? Block. How many uh, quartz did you have left over from doing your mana lenses? I have 20. Oh! Can I have four, please? You can have 20. You s oh, okay. I have to take that qu quartz block and put it in this little uh, chop saw to make some sort of quartz plate. This looks like it's a it's a base pattern to some circuitry or something that this uses. Choppity 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 choppity. Alright, let's see where I've gotten now. I choppity. think I need to start the elf gate stuff. Yes. So should we redo our mana farm because we have to That doesn't that require tons of mana to activate? It does like a whole mana pool. It requires, it has two mana pools that, that it, it's a whole beautiful setup that takes forever to do. And uh, I love the Vasky's, you know, idea of it. I love the auto ghosting thing so I can see where things go. But it does eat through a lot of mana. So I'm thinking the Munchdrew, and I could just magically place down the leaves for it, would help. But if this was like in a in a player world where we weren't doing skyblocks, I would probably create its own tower of mana for it. Tower of mana. Define tower of mana. What I what I usually do is like a three story tower, and then the then I would have water running uh, through the center of the of the three by three block or whatever it is, and then I have endo lilies or endo flames chilling on the next to there, and then I have the water, then I have charcoal dropping into the water as it goes through the flowers to grab it up, make the mana, and it just keeps going. Okay, so the, the you drop the charcoal into the water column? What what I do is, is um, well, picture it like a, 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 a 9x9 grid, or a 3x3 grid, and the center is, is a water flow. So the water drops yep. down, it goes over, or the water yep. starts in one corner and flows flows down to the other end where it goes into like a, uh, hits a hopper so that so the thing drops down again so i have three endo lilies on either side of the water and then and then the coal drops into the first block and then floats along like on a conveyor belt hits the hopper and goes down if it doesn't need it if it, the flowers don't need it so they just grab it as they need it okay and that's what i that's what i usually do to make all my mana I, so the que the question is: So when it hits the bottom, what do you do with it? Um, when it hits the hits the hopper, it goes down to the floor below, which I usually have like two or three floors of six endo flames. Oh, and what happens if it gets all the way through? Do you pipe it back up to the top? I pipe it back up to the top. I know how to use some piping. Cool. That makes sense. So why use the water to slow it down? Because you don't really want to fast, you know, I don't want to just it sit there and then be hoppered up and then keep going. But if I have it float in the water, it's only in the world gotcha. for so long. Okay. No, I hear you. 
because that's how I think I, I, it worked. No, I, I got it. I just, my question was, I didn't know if it was because it didn't, in other words, the end of flames couldn't catch it fast enough if it was just falling through air. You know what I mean? Well, what what I do is I float it along is so that, again, I can have a, I have a, have a giant conveyor belt of, of Indolilis to grab it as they need it. Because I don't usually have the uh, conveyor belt from um, Immersive or anything. Okay. And I can be, sometimes I do it longer. But yeah, I, do, I usually do a Tower of Mana. But I don't think we might need to do that. So we are going to need some more gold. So I need to make some more. I could switch to Pam's kitchen and attempt to do some of the higher end foods and do a gold. Right, is that a? Nah, I mean, we kind of haven't unlocked that stuff yet. We have. Pam's kitchen is unlocked, uh, and it, I, I, what I do, what I like about that is that it will automatically show me all the cooking recipes I can cook with what I got. Gotcha. Because I am lazy, and my brain don't hold that much. Yay, water bowl! Be careful doing that over there. I did that over there earlier uh, yesterday, and, uh, like... It pulled up all the end of flames. Oh. And I had to catch them before they went over the edge. I, I purposely moved away, but yeah. That's how I killed Elsa this morning. And we all know this because we just saw it. I am slowly running out of... Uh, we are slowly running out of. Uh, um, hey, we just opened the... actual add-ons, so we can do a block laser. Oh, okay. So we could do the munch tree with the leaves from the from the farm. I shall work on that. Okay. I am making gold because I need gold. All right, Midas. Yep. Man, this really does work fast, that alchemical deal. Yeah, it is a very nice setup. I'm very happy you did it. I gotta start with wood casing. thing that we don't really have is a good way to pump fuel into the into a little heat provider for the for the condenser for the condenser's crucible yeah we could just <coughs> do a hopper though maybe can we yeah, there's not a lot of room up there is there yeah I guess we could we could hopperize it I really need to figure out a way to automate charcoal and I know that the charcoal pit is a great efficiency but it's not automatic 
So I think what, what I really need to do is we really need to... Does this have hopper ducks in it? Nope. So I can't do, like, graded hoppers. No. We need some way to filter inventory to be able to do that. Well, I guess I still could. Hmm. I will try to do that tonight, because we need to automate charcoal, because charcoal is uh, becoming a prime resource for us. Alright, I got some gold, I got some copper. Let me go try to do this. Let's see if this works. Ta-da! Copper wire. Gold wire. So now I just need to make this drill bit. This, this uh, mod is very nickel happy. What kind of drill bit do I actually need? A regular one. Uh, oh, you completed a quest at the same time I did. Yep, I need to make the atomic reconstructor, so I'm working down the coal generator thing. So I can make my auto placer. I can place my leaves next to my munch root Jew and make mana because I'm lazy and we have a whole bunch of spare. A drill grinder, huh? Apparently a drill grinder will turn ingots into dust so that you can make the alloys by making the alloy blends, the dust blends. That sounds handy. Ooh, you have a coal generator. That's hot. Yep. something.
my whole life is just running back and forth between the ingot machine and the uh, this factory tech stuff I've set up. Accept it. It's all right. Yeah, I know. I mean, this stuff is actually kind of cool. It's just I'm still in the early phase, so it's really still grindy stuff. I'm making parts to make tools. I haven't really come up with anything super useful yet. I'm just going to throw this stuff down as I make it. Okay. I figure you can move it and build a nice happy area for it later. Or I can. Okay. No, that's it's kind of, in essence, the same thing I'm doing here, which is really just throwing it down, and then once I figure out what it does and the uses for it, we'll figure out what to do with it later. All right, so we have a drill grinder. Does that mean I can put in a iron ingot and get iron dust? It is exactly what it means. That is awesome. So we can do alloys. Hooray! Yay us! Making magnets. The magnetizer turns iron into a magnet when given a constantly repeating redstone signal. Kind of okay. like an hourglass? I think that that would be what we could do. I have to make one of these bad boys first, though. Either that, or magnets, or part, or, or a uh, part for some other component down the line. Because it looks like like factory tech is huge. Awesome. I mean, I'm seeing, I am seeing quite a bit of stuff in here: smokestacks, furnaces. Ooh, they want me to make an auto breaker, an auto placer, an automatic precision dropper, and a fluid placer, and a fluid collector. Very cool. Are you jelly yet? I am. I like actually additions. Big fan of their stuff. I have never had a chance to fully play with it, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that, that I got this part. I didn't realize how many machines I was going to have to be building. I'm kind of running out of room. Ah, they want me to make an auto farm, <laughs> too. That's cool, except when it needs, they need lots of power. They suck power like you wouldn't believe. Okay. I mean, I'm guessing we can put, uh, since you did get generators going, we can put a generator on each one, oops, on each one of them. Oh, that's not what I wanted, is it? That's what I want. So I made some gold wire as part of the original quest, and I haven't used it yet. Hoping that oops, there are some very cool machines in this mod pack. I 
Magnetizer. Loves watching us craft. Yay! That's exciting as we sit here and ponder what the hell we're doing next. I mean, so the only thing I have that's really useful at this point to us is the drill drill thing that lets us make powders from you know dust from ingots because. Because that lets us do alloys. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to actually make a magnet here. Points for not fast forwarding through again. Yeah, really. This is must be boring as hell. Requires a alternating redstone current. This is where I need that hourglass. Yep. Or a redstone clock. I Ooh, can, can we too. do that yet now? I don't know, I'm ready to find out. Alright. Okay, what am I doing? I am circling. Oh, I'm doing an auto breaker. Yes. Red redstone clock accomplished. Hooray! Which just sends out a standard pulse every second. So, let me do that. And do that. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be working. Oops. I don't know. Why isn't it working? Make you it work. Don't know. I know. I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe it needs to be on the back side. Alright, have we got any of those redstone crystals from the loot box, or do I have to make them? Uh, there's some blocks, there might be some blocks down there that you can break apart to turn into the crystals themselves, you know, because they all make blocks. Oh, there they are. Thank you. Why, why make things when I don't have to? Alright, so I am not sure what this means, then. Alright, what's it doing? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That is... That's the problem, isn't it? When given a constantly repeating redstone signal. How quickly repeating? Well, that's the question now, isn't it? So, the lowest you can get an hourglass is one second, right? Yes. And that's what my redstone clock is doing right now, which is one second. So that is repeating. That is that is very confusing and frustrating. I don't break unless it. unless they just meant a switch, but that's not really repeating. Or it takes a long time to magnetize, and I'm just not. But I don't see any progress happening here. Hmm. Hey, check that out. What? You're, uh, you're doing quests. Yes, I am. See, this doesn't even look like it's accepting the redstone signal because it's not going into the block. Hmm.
I'm sure this is something like so super simple it's not even funny. You know somebody who knows this stuff is out there yelling at you, right? Yes, I know. That's exactly what they're doing. They're I can't believe it. They're losing their shit right now. I, 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 I feel the tremor in the force. I know. It's like all I'm working from is the quest description, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. You know, there's a tip to make sure you read it all. Uh, I need an hourglass. One second's too fast. Ah, okay. That's what it is. So the deal is, is that one second is too fast of a cycle to repeat. So... Because when I manually flip a switch every two seconds, it's working. So I just need an hourglass, which means I need some glass. Do I, I have glass on me, don't I? Yes. And an hourglass, I think, is two mana glass and a. Let's see. Two mana glass, a mana steel. Look at that. Yeah. Technology you understand. No, I'm talking about your uh, uh, agglomeration plate with your open crate above it. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Well, I'm the kind of person who will throw it and miss it, or it will land and I'll get too close and suck it up. So that way yep. there I can drop it in, stand back. Or stand back and drop it in. No, the open crates are cool. The precision dropper is really still the best dropper because it it always drops it dead center of the the block no matter how many how many blocks off you are. All right. So I think we're we're at an hour and eighteen minutes. We should be we need to be done. I have not I have lost track of time. Yep. Thank you for hanging on this long, guys. Uh... Well, we, we, we got some progress, though. We got factory tech pretty deep into the factory tech chain, and you're doing the AA chain, which... Let's go look at your stuff here. Oh, so you've got your laser, oh, your generator, your laser beam. Yep. Which is cool. I have just finished the auto placer. I have the auto uh, breaker already. I need to do finish doing the auto chain, the fluid stuff and stuff. So we need to figure out if that fluid placer will uh, will uh, um, fill up the the uh, cauldron. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I needed the auto. Um, I'm on the automatic precision dropper, and then it's the fluid placer and the fluid collector. So I have three more things to do to finish up the quest, which opens up a whole cool. new section. Awesome. And then I plan on making a farm. Alrighty, well that's uh, that's the game plan then, and uh, I will, uh, I guess I will see everybody on the flip side. I can't get this working with the hourglass. It, it might be too smart. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who knows? We'll figure it out. We'll figure out a way to, to, to automate this. Alright guys, we, should, we have to go figure out the river grate too. So we will see you on the flip we side. We will see you with answers next time.